Come over here, behind the boxes. I'm hiding from the multiplication and division symbols. They want to play with me really badly, but sometimes I just don't understand them. They want to play tag with me, but let's face it, division can be really rough, and I am not joking. Maybe you guys can help me learn more about the relationship between multiplication and division. Will you help me? Thanks. Wait, did you hear that? Are they nearby? Uh-oh. Ow. Tag. <laughs> Ugh. Multiplication and division are not as hard as they look. Multiplication is like repeated addition, division is like repeated subtraction. Here we have two math problems that are already completed. 3 times 4 equals 12. And 12 divided by 3 equals 4. In division we are sharing something equally. Division is just the opposite of multiplication. We call that the inverse. Now let's look at the relationship between these two problems. In the problem 3 times 4, there are three groups. And within each group, we have four dots representing the four that are in each group. There are 12 dots total, which is our answer. In the division problem, you will notice that the 12 is at the beginning. In a division problem, you start with the total number of dots. The problem is telling us that we will take 12 dots and divide them equally among three groups. We will put a dot in each group until all dots are gone. Can you tell me how many dots are in each group? There are four dots in each group, just like the answer. Awesome! In both the multiplication and division problems, the smaller numbers tell us how many groups we have and how many items go in each group. The biggest number in each problem is the total amount of items, or dots, in our case. Here are two more problems, but they don't give us the answer. Let's start with the division problem and see if using multiplication can help us. 15 divided by 3 equals blank. 15 is the large number or total of dots. We are dividing the 15 dots equally among three groups. We start by using our three groups and share the dots equally. To do this, we will put one dot in each group until they are gone. How many dots are in each group? The answer is 5. Great job! So 15 divided by 3 is 5. If we pay attention, we can see that 5 multiplied by 3 in the problem gives us 15. Wait a minute. We just answered the multiplication problem on the left. 5 times 3 equals 15. It's really important to remember that in division, you are finding what two numbers multiplied together equal the largest number. The two smaller numbers in this division problem multiplied together gives us the largest number, which is 15. This is amazing stuff, and now it is time to go play some tag. This time I am going to be ready now that I understand a little bit more of division and multiplication. See you next time. Goodbye. Okay guys, you have a few options here. You can click the video on my right or on my left to watch more awesome stuff. If you want to subscribe, click the big red subscribe button below. You might want to hurry and choose, though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose. Uh, 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 uh.